Hey guys. Hi. Aloha. Aloha. Welcome to MJA's first ever live screening. Um, first of all, I wanted to tell all of our wine club members and, and customers, thank you for all your support for all the years that you've supported us. This is our 10th anniversary um, this year. And I want everyone to please be safe, keep away from each other, take care of your family, and enjoy some good wine. So uh, with that, I'm gonna have Kathy tell you a little bit about our first live screening. Miss right. Kathy. Hi. All right, so um, this is our first live streaming that MJ has ever done. We've been here for 10 years now, like, and this is our first time going through this whole motion, so please bear with us through this. Um, I'll be reading your comments uh, throughout this live streaming, so you know, if you have a question, have any feedback, just you know, type it out, and I'll be reading that over to like John and Marin. Um, yeah, so um, look forward to you know hearing from you guys, and we're gonna taste some delicious wines during this. So looking forward to that. Sounds good. What do you got to say? What do I have to say? Um, so if this hasn't already been said, um, we're all family. We all live in the same household. So we won't be observing social distancing, but I mean, this is my dad, that's my girlfriend. So uh, yeah, let's taste some wine. Actually, I like the six foot separation from him anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. All right, settle down, old man. Um, where do you want to start? Uh, let's start with the Sangiovese. With the Sangio, my favorite wine. A little simpatico. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <clears throat> there we go. I'm getting thirsty already. You got it. <laughs> Woohoo! We got two people watching and two one like. Two people light. watching. Thank cool. you. Feel internet famous. <laughs> I was just in Hawaii checking the coffee farms last week, so um, now I understand we have a lot of travel restrictions going over there. But I'm really happy that I got a chance to see the farm. In case some of you guys don't know, we still grow coffee on the Big Island in, in the Captain Cook area. So I was over there checking coffee farms. All right, Sangiovese. This is our 2016. It is from Hollister. Um, Sangioveses are one of my favorite wines because I like to eat a lot of pastas and, and things of that nature. This particular one in 16, um, I think is so unique because it is so fruit forward. We've never had a Sangio. Generally, they're kind of a flat plain wine with nice fruit and balance, great with pastas and, and penne, penne bolognese and, and foods of that nature. This one, I think because the drought was so severe in 2000. 12, 13, 14, and 15, and by the end of 15, I think the vines were just about ready to give up, and then 16 was a wet year, so when the rains came, these Sangio grapes said, oh, look at this, we got water, we can make a great wine, and, and it really did this particular year. You wanted to go into a little bit about what you're going to taste on this Yeah. One? Also, before you start, mm -hmm. um, I just want to say hello to Ted, Andy, and Meredith. They they all joined the stream. Woo! Salud! Salud! Stay thirsty, my friends. All right, so what what do you got to say about the Sangio, John? It's delicious, for starters. <laughs> I could drink a bottle of that any day. But uh, let's see. Get a lot of red fruit, some cranberry. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, red and dark fruit, mm -hmm. really juicy. That's it's got more, it's probably the most, it is the most fruit forward Sangio that we've been making. We've been making this, using this grape since 2011. And I can truly say this is the most fruit forward. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of weeks ago, Susie took a, made a pork roast with uh, rosemary and garlic. And I was, I was trying a couple of different wines I, I was trying to use to with, with the pork roast. And when I tasted the Sangio with the pork roast, it was a hit, and two bottles later, we were very happy. So, 
Yeah. So, so what are you tasting this one, old man? Well, I'm tasting everything you're tasting. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I got the berries, I got the fruit. It's got, I it's got, got some nice fruity sweetness at the it end. It does. And I really like. It's one you can yeah. actually drink by itself or a little bit of cheese along or, and or with a meal. So I, yeah. I think... I think you'd be really happy with this. Yeah, Andy, he's saying that um, he loves the Sangio. Um, he had some just last night with his pasta. Mm. So, Well, how yeah. come I wasn't invited, <laughs> Andy? Well, I think it's, it's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Technicality. I guess friendship is out of, out, of, out of... Hey, I thought we were supposed to observe social distancing. Behave, All right, I'm Mr. MJ. <laughs> Oh, Bob and Toby just joined. Woo. Hi, guys. Hi, Bob Hello and guys. Toby. Welcome. Um, for a wine that you can do anything with and have fun with and just drink by itself, the Sangio is the ticket. I mean, I think it's it's a great wine for that. So. Yeah. Oh, also, Angie just joined, uh, uh, Meredith's sister. Oh, hi, yeah. Angie. <laughs> Aloha, Angie. <laughs> We're having a little Sangiovese if you just figured this out. So this is our 2016 and this one is from Hollister. And if you're not familiar with Santa Cruz, it's kind of like 30 miles to the southeast of us as the crow flies. The uh, grower is, is Ken Gemelli. He's got about, he grows about seven or eight different varietals. He's a great grape grower. So I think, uh, what else you want to see about this? I don't know. I just kind of want to drink more of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only I'm, I'm feeling a little stoic and tight-lipped. I just want to sit there with my wine and drink it, but I don't I think I noticed that during, during, the, during our pours during the day, you do some of that. I, I never have to hey, hey, that's that called, That's what we call quality control. Oh, is that it? And you're... You know. You're... you're, you're Conveying to the people that are tasting what you're tasting. Uh, exactly. And, oh, I see. Okay. You know, I I I really care about the quality yeah, inventory, so I got to keep my pulse on it at all times. I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's all good, Miss Miller. Yes. Uh, we just had someone asking how to join the live stream. Hey, Facebook, right? Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Should we? Continue on, or do you want to stay on the Sangio for a little bit? Oh, Andy's um, saying he's going to stay on the Sangio for a little bit. Oh, also, Andy has a little feedback. He said, uh, we'll leave a plate of pasta at your front door. <laughs> <laughs> um, could I have penne bolognese? That's what I feel like today. <laughs> um, can, can you make mine a penne margarita? I live at uh, Laurel Street. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick it up here, so it's okay. Oh, cool. We also had um, Bev Robinson, Trent Young, and we should have um, Clark joining in just a little bit. He just called. Hi. Oh, great. Yeah. Cool. Well, welcome, you guys. Welcome. We'll see on the Sangio till these other people pop in, so. Yeah. It's, well, for a little bit of commentary from myself about the Sangio, I'm a really big fan of the Sangio. It's definitely developed since we first released it. Um when I was doing the tasting notes for our fourth quarter release, um, it started off with like these really strong notes of like maple and like a little bit of um, almost like a bacony flavor. I was just like, wow, this is one of the few reds that you could have with brunch and it just pairs perfectly. And it's developed a little bit more, it's smoothed out, um, but you still get those undertones. And I think this is still like a really excellent brunch red. Like I am just blown away with this wine. So you drink red, reds at brunch? Um, I drink this one at brunch. <laughs> hey, not all wines can pair with pancakes, but this one does. Okay. <laughs> I hop. Maybe I'm going to uh, offer this to I hop and well, tell okay, them, we need to... you should be you should be serving our Sangiovese along with your pancakes. <laughs> well, yeah, fr free deliveries with a bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Should, we, should we stay on this uh, the Sangi or should we move on to the? We have more people coming. Uh, we got a couple more on. We had um we had Chas Crowder join um and oh, also Chas. Mr. Chas sing us a sing us a little song Chas. <laughs> Now, also, Ted, he said that he really enjoyed playing on the west side and meeting everyone. He's enjoying a cab and some Kona coffee right now. Ooh. Oh, good man. Yeah. Very good. Appreciate that. Very so. nice. All right, what are you going to go to next? Oh, I'm getting shameless. shameless. All right. It's in my nature. Actually, hold on. Me too. Owners first.
All right. I'm going to get in on this tasting uh, action. Okay, the, the lovely Catherine Miller needs to make an appearance hey, on I'm screen here. I'm reading comments. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is I'm, that your excuse? I, I am the voice of the people, John, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. All right. The Melbeck. Uh, this is one of our, 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 for me, it's one of the favorite wines for us to make. Um, I've always been a Melbeck fan. Um, unlike a lot of people in the world, that think that Melbecks come from Argentina. They really don't. They're, they're one of our Bordeaux grapes that the origin of the grape is Bordeaux, France. Um, it's one of the six Bordeaux that we, that we have in this country uh, that we actually grow and make. Um, this one comes from South Monterey. Uh, God rest his soul, Mickey Gillis. We lost him a couple of years ago. His, his, he's always grown some of the, the nicest grapes that we've ever, we've ever seen. And, it makes one of the nicest wines. This wine, unlike the Argentine, that is sometimes tend to be a little bit bitey in the in the back of the throat. This is so smooth and rich. You can pair this with any meat product, practically, and 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 live happily ever after with this particular wine. So, and your your take, Mr. John. All right. What is my take? Good. That's very very good. That's my take. Definitely a lot of black fruit though. Some it blackberry, um, blueberry, very fruit forward, but uh, much lighter than uh, most of the Argentinian Melbecks. True. A little softer, a little more rounded, a little more California style. I tell everybody it doesn't rip your esophagus out as it goes down. <laughs> so this one kind of smooths it out and makes everybody happy in the internal organs uh, of the person. So. Well, it's a wine that you can, you know, kick your feet up rather than serve to your enemies. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I had tried, um, like, a couple Malbecs before working here, and, I mean, they were always a little, um, a little earthy, a little acidic, and they just didn't really appeal to me very much. But this one is just so fruity. I'm like, this is the fav my favorite Malbec that I've ever tried. So, um, definitely a big fan. Um it's one of our kind of like middle priced wines that I highly recommend. It's like, you know, you want to have something to serve with dinner that's not a cab and a little bit more unique. I'm like all about serving them all back with it. And and this is like a cab in a, in a different name and a different form. Um, it, it will pair with lamb chops. It'll pair with steaks and, and it, it'll, it'll pair with most meat foods as I, as I mentioned before. Um, it's one that, uh, I get a lot of people that will come in, and it's in, in our tasting lineup when we're allowed to taste. Um, and they'll go, uh, you know what, you can jump over the Malbec. And I went, well, I'm kind of pushy. I go, no, no we're, we're not jumping over my Malbec. I'm, I'm too proud of this wine. And I, would, yeah, so I will pour it for them, event, and they invariably they'll, walk, they'll, they'll leave with a bottle of it on their way out. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of a... It's, it's kind of a wine that will surprise you, especially this one. It's called Shameless, and it's our 2016 from South Monterey. All right, I'm ready for some more commentary some from more the guy commentary. that drinks a lot here. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't drink, he does, so it, it kind of keeps everything moving. I don't know. It has, in some ways, it has some structural similarities to the Sangiovese. It's got a little bit of fruity sweetness at the end. But it's uh, it's definitely a fruity sweetness, not a sugary sweetness, which makes it very uh, very drinkable. And we don't do sweet wines. This this is it's not overly dry because of the amount of fruit that's in it. It it acts like a like a sweetness, but it isn't a sweetness. It is it is a dry wine. So. I mean, I hate to say it, but we should really do like a moscato for our friends in the south here. I get too many requests. I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, we, we, we get calls like, what's the sweetest wine you got? And then I'm like, uh. And, you know, if they come out of <laughs> Welcome Michigan. Welcome to California. If they come out of Michigan, <laughs> Minnesota, Wisconsin, they'll go, I go, guys, I don't, I don't have berry wines and I don't have sweet wines. But I understand and I'm, I'm finding that people in that region are getting used to drinking more non-sweet wines. These, this style of wine is better for 
the heart and the, and the whole and the whole uh, system and the, the human system of the body. So um, this is a good wine for you and a good wine to taste and and to pair with. So. Although to be the devil's advocate for our friends in the south, there it is. Uh, this is a warmer climate. But yeah. they do have air conditioning, so. I do have white wines. Yeah, you do. That's true. I do, you know, Sauvignon Blancs and yeah, Chardonnays and Viognier's and things like that. So we, we can we, we can we can fill that. We can fill that void. Yeah, yeah. we can fill that slot. Trust it's, me. It's hard for me to say, too, because I don't like sweet wines. I don't either. <laughs> I mean, I'll take a port, a, a really well, good port. That's you know, different. With yeah. di after dinner, as a little aperitif. Well, and you'll have a cigar, but I don't smoke. So. Uh, shameful. You, you can do a cigar, old man. Come on. No. I, I did that before you were born. Way before I think, you were born. I think born. you were inhaling. That was a problem. Of course I inhale. <sighs> if you're going to smoke, you inhale. Uh, you no, don't. you don't. Yes, you do. No, you so don't. So I don't inhale. And I, I mean, I don't smoke for like that you're reason. supposed to be like Schwarzenegger. Yeah, don't 45 inhale. years ago, I quit smoking, and that's <laughs> we're good with that. So Let, let's get back on the subject here. Right. Tell me some more about the Malbec. Uh, I need to collect a little more data. Jam. I'm expanding my palate. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's what I like to call it. Has your nose changed? Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely opened up a little bit. It has. It's much yeah. more fruit forward than it was a minute ago. Yeah, well, we just opened new bottles. Oh, so. I know, I know. I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm just saying what I, what I experience here. Now, remember, guys, here's a kid that lived most of his life on the big island of Hawaii, never drank wine, and now he's become my wine expert. So, you know, what can I say? Wow, the... Maybe, okay, this could be purely the power of suggestion from the last one, but I'm getting kind of a, a maple-y finish on this one a little bit. No, there is no, no maple finish. Well, no, no, just like a, like a... So you want to take this? A, a sense this of, is to go to IHOP with it, I can, so we'll give them a two-bottle you know, choice. We should. You know, you can either do... You can either do the Malbec or the Sangiovese. Look, this could be... This is an unexplored market of uh, breakfast pancake wines. I mean, come I on. I don't think this is the wine for that. <laughs> I don't. you got to use your say, imagination. And you're going to say the same thing on the next one, I'm sure. Okay, if I, if I, if I call that one a pancake wine, uh, you know, uh, I think we have a, I think we have a customer coming in on our screen. Oh, my goodness, we do have a customer. We do. All um, right, you're, you're up, champ. It's like the end of the world. Hi there. Hey, Hi brother. There. How are we doing? Hey, I'm picking oh. up. Oh, uh, were you the guy who called ahead earlier? Yes, I'm Craig Laurie. All right, let me get you your stuff, my man. We do have a customer. He's picking up his wine club shipment. And hopefully some of you folks that aren't members out there might consider that as as a possibility for us. We're doing a live stream right now. I'll, I'll put so. this on a cart and wheel it out there for okay. you. So. Yeah. I called and no one answered. Yeah. Oh, did, really? So we have... Uh, I'm sorry. They were talking in the, the outside. But anyway... Um, our, on, our, on our wine club sh shipments, since I have nobody to help me in this this part right now, we have... Yeah, quit laughing over there, Junior. Do some work. Uh, come on, entertain the good people, old man. <clears throat> Talking about our wine club a little bit, it, our wine club is basically three bottles a quarter, and it, it is with a 30% discount. Um, we ship all over the United States, with the exception... Of North Dakota and Utah. Um, Utah, you can have five wives, but I can't get any wine to help you with the family. But anyway, I didn't say that. Anyway, um, and you you have many choices in the wine club. You have a red only, a white, uh, a bubbles and white, uh, reserve, and uh, and a Mediterranean. So you have five different choices. <clears throat> anyway, and that runs between 140 and about 155 dollars a quarter so. yes yeah and i i got back um do we have is, some new people we do we have ken clark that just joined we're uh hello uh, kenny we still have a shipment here for you forever and, I, <laughs> and hopefully someday i get to visit with you guys hope you're all doing well and please stay safe 
Yeah. Also, really um, glad to see all this feedback here. So thank you, Meredith, for your kind words. Um, also, Toby said, um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. One day, Primitivo Macho Dos Hombres were feeling lucky, looking for that naughty first kiss, anticipation of a luscious sweet thing. MJ rendezvous with a classy sweetie pie. Temptation of the still horny bombshell. It was a hot flash MJ happy ending. <laughs> you know what? You've known me too long, Tom. <laughs> Copyright Toby Gray 2018. That's not a bad thing. Well done, babe. Well done. Absolutely. That's great. Absolutely great. Those are, in case anybody doesn't know, those are names of all the wines over the years beginning. Some of those were uh, back in 2006 and seven. So that's, that's kind of fun. Yeah. Oh, and Angie, she's saying that, um, the Moscato sounds fab. No, um, it doesn't, Angie. <laughs> Knock it off. She God, also said it. she's currently See, drinking. Tr you're a troublemaker. <laughs> she's also say. currently drinking a blackberry wine from Woodmill. Oh, of course she is. <laughs> <laughs> but but you she know what? I wouldn't drink that. I'd just rub it on my body and be healthy and, have, and healthy and happy. <laughs> but she does have a bottle of Snowflake chilling, and she does very much support becoming a club member with us. Well, Man, thank, thank you so you. much. Yes. Mahalo nui loa, mm -hmm. which in Hawaiian means thank you very much. Yes. Um, so how do we name the wines? How do we name the wines? Well, all right, let me tell you how it normally goes. We, we, it's usually after a bottling, anywhere from a month or two or three after bottling, and sometimes two or three weeks, which he hates, but I like if our bottling went well. And what I do is I can I compile a list of names over um, the course of the year, and I and I write them on a little yellow pad, and I stick them in the register. They're in here somewhere. Yeah. And then John and I and Kath will usually on a Thursday before release will will bring out the wines that we're going to name, and I bring out my list, and we start. We start tasting a wine and looking at the names that we have on the list. And when one fits, that's the one we use. Um, this, a little while back, we did a we did a wine tasting with our 2015 Atlas Peak 95 point wine called. Now it's called Dirty Old Man. I was looking for a name for it that particular Thursday, and we had named a couple other wines. When we got to that one, Jam told me I didn't have to look at the list anymore. He pointed at me and said, we're calling it Dirty Old Man. And I told him I liked it, so it was okay. Well, look, you tried to call the year before Penetration, but we vetoed that one. So Dirty Old Man, uh, I sort of suggested in jest, and he, he took it up a little too enthusiastically. He was like, yes, that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been one of our most popular wines. That's true. That one won the LA International Wine Festival last year in about October and, and took 95 points in the gold medal as best of show. So it was, it's, it's a wine that we're very proud of. Should we go on to sultry? Yeah, we should. Hey, ladies first. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, you guys, this is my favorite wine. Well, I have 27 favorites. <laughs> this is one of the All your reserves are your favorites. Well, they are. People go, which of the reserves do you like the best? I said, depending on what I'm gonna do with it. No, the right answer is yes. Yeah, it's true. It is true. So, this is a 2011 Childs Valley Cab. Um, where in the hell is Childs Valley? Well, Childs Valley is in the Napa Valley perimeter. This is on the other side of Howell Mountain. Where's Howell Mountain? Well, that's east of St. Helena and Calistoga. This one is a little valley between Lake Berryessa and Howell Mountain. It's a valley that gets really hot in the summer. It really cooks. And for that reason, every time I bought grapes out of Child's Valley, it's taken three years to age in New French Oak. Mm. I, or, I'm sorry, four years to age, a year longer than my normal. Um, and that's because at three years, it gets a little grippy back here, and four years, it smooths out. This one is no exception. This took four years. This is a wine that you and Mama are hanging out with a little maybe cheese plate and a little chocolate on the side, watching a beautiful sunset wherever you may be. And and Mama, when you look over 
and he's asleep, you just grab another piece of cheese and just keep drinking and let him go to sleep because this is just a wonderful porch wine. It's a, it's a wine you can pair with just about anything. I, I should taste it now. Do you, you, you probably should. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, so I haven't tasted it yet, but tell me if I'm off base, guys. I swear, it, it almost smells like, like strawberry shortcake, like a little bit. No. Uh, no. 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 Okay. You, know what, you know what it smells like? What's that? It smells like chocolate mousse. Yeah. yeah, I mean it smells kind of sweet, but also a little spicy. Like no, but you can get you can get the chocolate. It's got some spiciness. I'm you can, just saying no, one it's of the spicy, notes but you can out. smell the chocolate on the first thing at your nose. Yeah. You got the chocolate. Yeah. So that's why I said if you're doing if you're doing the cheese, do a little chocolate with it. Have some little chocolate bits on the because this will really pair well with it. You can pair this wine with anything. Um, I definitely taste more oh, chocolate. Oh, Meredith's than it got smells. a good question. Does it go with all of our chocolates? Yes. Hell yes. <laughs> Even the white chocolate covered macadamia nuts? It, why not? <laughs> Is that Kenny's asking that question? Oh, my goodness. Huh? No, that was my question. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because the underlying over the mac nut after the white chocolate underneath mm -hmm. it is dark chocolate. Oh, so the, fun fact. Our, our okay. we, do, we grow macadamias too. So our white macadamias are baked coconut on white chocolate over dark chocolate over mac nut. And if you don't think that's decadent, it truly is. Because if you open a bag, you eat the bag. I, I've never, I've never failed. So um, let me tell you a little bit before we get more into this wine about how we treat our reserve wines. Our reserve cabs, and we make about 15 of them, are are aged three years, four years, five years, six years in New French Oak. If they're over four years, they're in New French Oak. If they're under four years, they're usually half and half, New French and, and once used. Um, what does that do for your wines? That gives you longevity. My, my reserve cabs, I feel, have a minimum of a 30-year laydown. Um, and I'm not worried about, if you take care of the wine at my age, I, am I worried about a 30-year laydown? No. But for... But if I want us, if I want one of my granddaughters to have a wine waiting for them on their twenty first birthday and they're eight years old, this will wait for them. So these are these are wines that I'm very proud of because of their longevity factor. And almost every reserve cab that we had has won a gold medal last year. So anyway, continue your turn. Uh, say something. All right, I'll Be say something here. I Let's, uh, you know, we, we've, we've made it a, a habit already, so let me see what I taste here. God, your taste buds are... I feel like I'm being ganged up on yes, unfairly you are. here. This is... What? That's I'm not, I didn't say anything. <laughs> no strawberry shortcake. How dare you? There is no strawberry <laughs> shortcake in there. What it, the heck? There's not. Well, well look, I said on the nose, not on the... Look, I hadn't tasted it yet. Anyway... As far as what I taste in this one. I like it when he gets nervous. Family no, rivalry. I really do. I do. This I like is it when what it looks like, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like it's very fruit forward, but it has kind of a chocolatey finish at the end. Yeah, it does. This a is. A little mouth watering. You know, ladies that don't like big cabs, and, and there's a lot of them on the planet that really don't like big, big full bodied cabs, this is your wine. It's, it's a wine. You can pair it with anything. It'll, it, it won't offend you in any way as it comes down. It's nice and smooth at the bottom. It has a nice beginning and a very nice finish. It's a wine that, it's my porch wine. Come back to the porch. Yeah, if, he, if he falls asleep, elbow him because this is too good a wine. He should be tasting it. <laughs> so what do you taste in this wine? I already told you. Okay. Yeah, but like right now, come on. We haven't had this one in a while. Are you picking up uh, any changes from how you last it's remember? It's smoothed out a lot more. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's it's as <laughs> as our wine ages, you know, it starts, and and wines wines do they'll run along, in, and by the way, guys, we use the best the best Portuguese um, corks that we can find. We use good bottles, and our and our methods of bottling are are, are exceptional. We're really careful with the way we do that. So. Consequently, um, when the I forgot what I was going to say now. I don't quit, know. Quit interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> I so, can't win. I so can't win. As the as the wines lay down, let's say in the first three years, they'll they'll go along and they'll blip a little bit. But then at maybe number year number four or five, they do a big blip, which means they got a, they develop more richness. They smooth out some more. And this one now, uh, 
is an 11. We're now nine years old. This one, I would say, since the last time we tasted, excuse me, and I don't know when the last time we tasted it, maybe three or four months ago. I, I mean, at least it's been a while for me. Yeah, It's made a big leap, um, and it's really smooth, really nice. So, yeah, yeah. I'm real happy with it. Yep, we're at 1.30, but we're going to keep going a few more minutes because, I mean, we're all having a good time. Plenty of good bands are happening. You haven't asked them if they're having a good time. Uh, <laughs> we're having a good time. Angie said that we're you're drinking. killing her. Huh? Angie said you're killing her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't mean to be doing that, Angie. <laughs> we just want you to be drinking our wine and having a good time. She See. said it with a smiley face. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See what so, we what we need to be doing in the future is having some like I, I don't know so like a live stream party in which everyone drinks like MJ wine and gives feedback. We, we could, could do that. We could exchange notes. That could be a lot of fun. You know, if we can yeah. if we can develop a network of that, you guys, I'm 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 up for that. I'm I'm hoping this virus thing dies out in two or three more weeks or four or five more weeks, and and we can go back to life as normal for all of us and being enjoying our wine together in person, but. If not, we can do some more of these. Yeah, we can. Also, alcohol kills the coronavirus. I, I feel safer already. <laughs> <laughs> well, in your case, you should never get it. <laughs> I think I build up an immunity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. again, you guys, we so appreciate all the years of support. Um, uh, you know, you get nostalgic at this these times when everybody's suffering so much and and people are out of work and or temporary furloughed or whatever they are and and we have a bunch of people here that are furloughed until we can get back in in the swing of things and really appreciate all your years of support and and all the support we're getting right now we we sell all our wines online and we and 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 for pickup um by bottle and i don't know if you guys are aware of it but we're doing a 40 percent sale on cases and a 25 percent off sale on bottles and we'll ship free anywhere in california and um and for orders over a hundred dollars uh we'll ship anywhere in the united states except for alaska hawaii utah north dakota so. yeah. nice also oh. ken has a comment he he misses being there he can't wait till this is over <laughs> hey <laughs> ask oh, him likewise. hey kenny are you are you still working are you furloughed too well, I mean, he can probably hear us. Yeah, he can hear yeah. us. He's watching. <laughs> so, but yeah, again, to all the people who've been coming in and supporting us through this difficult time, I mean, we've been here. Uh, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, should we close this one out? We should. Yeah, I think so. It's, you guys, it's Shaka, been a really good one. Shaka, thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope to do this again soon. Yeah. Best wishes and aloha to everyone. Bye, and guys. And stay safe, guys. All right. Also, Ken says everything's closed. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Thank you again. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody.